You want to tell them why you have new clothes? I got this for Christmas and I bought these out for Lulu. No. You've ruined all of our clothing. I accidentally had a Sharpie in my pocket of one of my pants and I threw it in the, in the washing machine. And then by the time we got to the dryer, it tumbled around. All the clothes had terrible ink stains on them. So Yeah, he was so nice. He threw all of my clothes in there too. I basically ruined about half of my uh, complete closet. So today we're playing our first preseason match against Charlotte FC, the MLS team, at 7 p.m. tonight at our home stadium. I'm extremely excited for it because this is, I mean, there's just so many different reasons. We're playing in the stadium, which I've never played in. I'm going to play for the first time for the Charleston Battery. We're playing against an MLS team. We're playing against a new MLS team. And it just should be a really good test for us, and I'm really excited for it. A little nervous just because this is like the first time that I'll be playing with this team and it's the first time many of us will be playing together so that's always a little nerve-wracking because you're just not a hundred percent sure how like the tendencies of the other players I mean I've only known these guys for like 10 days 11 days so yeah hopefully we just come out and have a, a good performance and then just keep on building from that Anyway, I'm having breakfast right now. It's, what time is it? It is 8.48 in the morning, slept in a little bit today, and I'm having an orange, a latte, some oatmeal with some raisins and blueberries and bananas in here, and then I'm having three eggs with spinach, mushrooms, and some Cholula sauce, so that's breakfast. I like to have my biggest meal of the day on game days at breakfast, and then I lighten up the, the meal size as I get closer and closer to game time. Mm -hmm. The absolute worst part about game days is that you just have to sit around and wait, especially when you're playing like today at 7 p.m. It's kind of boring to be honest. You kind of just wait around. I always think it's so funny because in your head, like when you're picturing like being a professional footballer and it's game day, you're thinking it's so exciting, it's jam-packed, it's awesome. But honestly, majority of the day is just waiting around until kickoff. And then most of the time when the kickoff is at 7 p.m. at night, you just spend the entire day just trying to stay a little busy, but being smart and resting your body. You go on a little walk, which Mimi and I are about to do, but it's really just kind of being smart. It's just always funny how the whole day is so slow, and then you have this 90 minutes of jam-packed action, and then you have to settle down again. Before we jump into the vlog, I just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals straight to your door. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only the freshest ingredients and with integrity so that you can feel your best all day long. Their menus are updated weekly and include over 27 meals and over 33 add-on options. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based off of meal preferences and order history. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. All you have to do is throw them in the microwave and it's perfect for athletes with busy schedules. I've been partnering up with Factor for about six months now because their meals just align so perfectly with my lifestyle. And honestly, they just make my life so much easier and simpler. Pretty much every morning I head over to the facilities, I get in a team session, maybe a team lift, and I arrive back home completely exhausted. The last thing I wanna do is head to the grocery store and get food or spend hours preparing a healthy meal. Instead, I just head over to the refrigerator, grab a Factor meal, pop a few holes in the top, throw in the microwave, and two minutes later, Later, I'm enjoying a delicious meal that I know is going to help my body recover from this morning session. I just can't recommend this company enough. So if you guys are interested in checking out Factor, then go to go.factor75.com slash becomeelite120 and use code becomeelite120 for $120 off your order. Once again, that's go.factor75.com slash becomeelite120 and use code becomeelite120 to get $120 off. Thank you again to Factor for sponsoring this video. So it's like 11.45 right now in the morning. We are currently driving to one of the more popular beaches in Charleston, which is really only like a 10, 15 minute drive from our house, which is really nice. But the purpose of this is to get in like a 30 to 40 minute long walk. 
uh, just because it's good. It's good to do that on the day of the game just so you're not sitting around all day long hanging on the couch because it's good physically for the body to do that and also just mentally. If you're just hanging out on the couch, you kind of feel a little sluggish, it's good to get out, get in the sun for a little bit and uh, just feel a little bit fresher, you know, if that makes sense. So 30 to 40 minute walk on the beach coming up. I literally would have walked off of that. Straight cliff. It's just a cliff in the water. I wonder how deep it goes right there. Jump. No. Okay, this is my favorite place I've been so far. In Charleston. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the world. What's your favorite place you've been in the world? Paris. Boo. You know what I was uh, thinking about, which is kind of crazy? This is the first time I want to play in a game for a different coach in like three and a half or four years. Isn't that crazy to think about? No pressure. <laughs> yeah, good. it's like it is exciting. Like you're kind of pushing outside your comfort zone um, just because there's a new set of expectations. You're excited to impress somebody else and it's a new style of play. So it's exciting. And uh, yeah. I hope I don't mess up. <laughs> it's 1.15 in the afternoon. I'm gonna have some lunch right now. I'm actually going to have a factor meal for lunch. That's how much I really do enjoy their, their stuff and trust their, their product. Watch me saying all this and I get food poisoning. I really, really do enjoy all their food. So for lunch today, we have chicken breast cacciatore. So here's the full lunch. We have the chicken breast, some broccoli, sweet potato that I cooked up a couple nights ago. So it's like sweet potato fries with some salt and then an apple and then I have some water and I'm gonna add into the water this liquid IV hydration multiplier, which is literally just some electrolytes pretty much. So just been hanging out watching TV and now it's like my favorite part of my game day routine where I take my nap. Usually it's like anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, somewhere in there. But it is 2.40 so I'll wake up probably, I'll set an alarm for like 3.40 and then I usually start getting ready because I'm gonna leave here a little bit before five so I'll probably start getting ready at like 4.15, 4.20 or so. I had an absolutely fantastic nap. I slept for like pretty much like 50 minutes. Now I'm gonna take a shower. I'm going to change. We're just gonna wear our team polo and uh, I think our pants today. So I'm not dressing up or anything, but then basically just pack up, get ready, have a little light snack and then head off to the stadium. Like I said, for this preseason game, I'm gonna wear the, uh, the Hummel polo that they gave us, the pants, and then I think, I mean, we don't have our full kit yet. So we're just going to be playing in our training gear with like the numbers pressed on and everything. But here's everything that I'm taking to the stadium with me. Got the team backpack. I have a double shot of espresso right here. Shin guards, I always forget these for the first game of preseason because I'm just not used to bringing them. But I remembered them this time. Have keys, phone, wallet, parking pass, and then I'm bringing some step socks to wear because I don't know what color. I have black at the locker room, but I don't know if I'm gonna need white or not. And then a sweatshirt because after the game, it's probably gonna be cold. So that's what I'm bringing.
All right, just getting home. Um, fantastic night, really, really good. The whole team performance I thought was fantastic. We had a game plan, uh, a very you know specific style of play, specific goals that we wanted to achieve, and I thought that we ticked all the boxes, everything. And, and there's always those games where you win one nil or two nil, and, and you think, wow, we kind of got lucky with that. But I thought this game, honestly, for the most part, I thought we deserved that win. I thought we created more chances. I thought defensively we did really well. So, and also just like the atmosphere overall, the stadium, the fans, the uh, the ultras behind the goal and stuff, um, the regiment. It was it was really cool to to see and to be out there for the first time was was a very cool experience. Um, and then just personally, I was pretty happy with how I played. I was in the first block. We did like three equal blocks um, of 30 minutes and we just did like mass substitution. So I was in that first block and I was really happy with how I did. Really happy defensively. I thought I had a ton of like interceptions and attacking up the field. And uh, it just gets me more excited. It gets me more excited for the season to, to start. But uh, next, I mean, we're playing another MLS team in two days. We have tomorrow off back in for a pre-game training on Monday and then Tuesday I think we're playing the Columbus crew I gotta check usually I just go one game at a time so I gotta gotta double check that but I think it's the Columbus crew it's either them or inner Miami the rest of the night is pretty low-key I already had my meal after I didn't show it at all but it was like a muscle milk a little sandwich some chips a cookie I might have you know something else a little snack or something but then just going to bed early getting some sleep and enjoying the off day tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed a look into the uh, first preseason match of the season and hopefully many more wins will come. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, peace.